And as a matter of fact, the hustle continues. Slow down for what? We just getting started. No one out hustles me. That's my mind frame. If you don't multi hustle with that type of drive, then the hustle's already doomed. Now that the book is done, I got some big tasks to knock out to get this book published. I've been grinding so hard lately that I had to bring a dirty child to me. I'm in my favorite coffee shop doing the first edit on my book. I always like to clean it up before I give it to the editor. Having a good editor can make the difference in you publishing a masterpiece or publishing a piece of garbage. I'm just being honest. I also have to order ISBN, which is basically a serial number for the book. I'm not going to worry about that until I'm almost ready to publish. Before I sent the book to the editor, I wanted to get it copyrighted. This is a very big step. You want to make sure the words that you created are protected, and that's what the copyright does. I simply went to copyright.gov, did it online, took about three months to make it happen. But here it is. Another big step was creating the book cover. I ran into some issues when it came to that. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm determined for my team to win. That's why I hustle so hard. <laughs> you think I'm playing? Check out all the multi hosts I got going. Hello everyone. I'd like to welcome everyone to the first installment on how to start a small business. A while back, I decided to make a video showing people how to start a business. Even though I'm an artist, I love being an entrepreneur as well. What I put in the video are the exact steps I took to start the publishing company. I believe in sharing the knowledge, not holding on to it. Even though Create Space prints and distributes my books, most of the hard work is done by one team. I hated that scene, by the way. I definitely got to shoot that over. I also hooked up with my nephew, Corey, AKA Casper, to design a t-shirt and also a logo for the company. I wanted to add more products to the hustle. Not only am I trying to publish books, but I'm also trying to think outside the box and be creative with my filming as well. That's why I've been teaching myself how to use a green screen lately. Now I can't forget about my team members. We end this hustle as one. My homeboy Gus and I have another short film we trying to shoot as well. I also got another team member who wants me to invest in a food truck with him as well. I've been wanting to do that for a while. This time it couldn't be any more perfect. There was only one problem with all this multi-hustling. I was getting completely burnt out. I wasn't getting enough sleep and the fatigue was starting to get the best of me. If I wanted to produce the best products and services I could, I had to recharge. Vacation on a beautiful Florida beach was exactly what I needed. Just me, the ocean, and her. <laughs> Just listen to those waves. Only a dead man can be inspired here. Sometimes you just gotta get away from it all. God is great. I was ready to take on the world when I got back from vacation. The first thing I did was figure out how to use the green screen and incorporate it in my video. The video turned out great. I couldn't have been more pleased. The next project I had to finish up was getting the book cover done. The first graphic artist I hired just couldn't design what I wanted. Okay, here's the first book cover. I don't know what 
my graphic artist was thinking about. I mean, I had nightmares when I first saw this thing. I thought it was me. So I got a couple of my team members to give me their opinions on the book cover. I had Jam and Corey check out the book covers. And let me warn you ahead of time. They did not hold back their feelings. Ooh, man, it's got the little cartoonish hill feel with the reporter standing comment hill, you know, watching the bodies burn. You know, that's, that's, that's really a scary image if you think about it. Just, you know, the, your body burning forever, for infinity. But that's, that's some scary shit. Nigga, the fuck? See this shit? Look, look at this shit. Right all up in here. Look like the damn scorpion level on Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, nigga. All this shit. Motherfucking got this news reporter, nigga, right here. Look like he's fresh out of damn Marvel comic book. Damn first draft and shit. Motherfucking titles just all fucked. I mean, the summary's there, but it's just there, nigga. Fuck is this shit? Alright, so I had him send him back to the drawing board, see what else he can come up with. And this is what he came up with a second. It's a fucking battlefield. What in the hell? Now this shit right here, but this shit right here reminds me of a, a FEMA didn't show up project. That's some shit you don't want to see. That's, that's, that's actually more scary than the first one because that's some shit that you can actually see like Al-Qaeda or ISIS on hit. But, nah, man, nah, uh -uh. That's some fucked up shit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is this Don Cornelius in Syria, nigga? The fuck? What? This don't make no damn sense at all. Look at summer is just there again. The fuck? Who, who the hell thought of this shit? Now the third time was a charm. I had to completely go ahead and hire a new graphic designer. And this is what she came up with. I was very pleased with the work she did. Because she detailed everything that I was relaying to her. It's not a physical hell. The book is not about a physical hell. It's about a young man who believes his environment is a living hell because of what he's going through. She nailed it. Good job. I'm feeling this. You know, you can see the, the stress on his on his on his body, you know what I'm saying? He's he reporting from from his city. You can see the city in the background, you can see the pressure that, that man holding. I, I'm digging this one, man. This this right here is that's A1 right there. Right on, right on. This one is shit. I, I fucks with this one. Like, it's all dark. It fits like the whole, you know, mood of the book. One per. Now that the book cover was done, I had time to work on other hustles. My photographer Jay did a photo oh, shoot for me. I had professional photos made for the T-shirts my nephew and I designed. Oh, this? Yeah. I was going to load them to the company website. I really enjoyed doing this project with Casper. The photo shoot went great. My photographer did an excellent job. I wish I could kick back and relax, but that's not how dreams are turned into reality. I'm doing research on the guerrilla marketing plan that I'm about to launch. If you wonder how I keep up this multi-hustle, I keep God first and I grind hard. That's all I know.